Okay, so another uh, rideshare diary entry here. Uh, this is the kind of night where, or even day really, where I start to get really discouraged because uh, the whole week has been kind of slow. Although I did good yesterday. But today was very slow and uh, a few things came up and it got me off schedule and delayed my starting. So instead of having 20 now at 12 o'clock at night, I have 11. But the last time I had 10 was around 11 o'clock at night. And then I get one ride that takes me 45 minutes or more, you know, way down south in my case, far from Hollywood, how far from where I live. It's just one of these long, long fucking rides that goes on forever on three to four different freeways. And, you know, in the end, it only counts as one ride toward my, my uh, goals. And it's only it was only $35, like $34 or something and change. So it wasn't even that big of a money deal. I would have much rather had less money and instead had two or three more riot count, you know. And also not driven away the fuck out in the middle of nowhere. I'm like past Long Beach, south of Long Beach, basically Orange entering Orange County. And I hate coming out to these places where it's way the hell out in the middle of nowhere and it takes me 45 minutes to or half an hour to get back to where anything matters, you know. I'm not going to get a bunch of rides out here, type of, it's, it's the problem. And so I got to get all the way back to basically Los Angeles, you know, to start getting where uh, I'm in range of getting some rides. But right now, I'm already tired. I've been up since, you know, 9, 10. Uh, and it's 12 o'clock now. And, you know, the night before, I was up until 2 o'clock in the morning. So I didn't really even get to sleep late enough. And I had been working basically all day. Because of a potential uh, lead on a job opportunity, that took up all my rest time, besides normal stuff like laundry and lunch. So I didn't really get to rest, so I'm extra, extra tired now. But, you know, I hate that I have to go home now and it's 11 is my count today. Because I, I, I could ride more. Uh, there's a whole nother special period starting at 1. And I'll probably be getting home right about 1. Give or take, you know, maybe a little before. But I'm just so tired now, I'm just not in the mood. You know, I, I, there's no point in me either being all grumpy and grouchy with whoever I pick up, they're just trying to go home. Plus, you know, if I can't keep my eyes open, it's not going to really do anybody any good. And who gives a fuck about your ride count if you can't keep your eyes open? Or any bonuses, whatever. So that means I have to basically just, you know, quit for the night and let it be. And just not get the bonuses this week. Let them take more, you know, of the fee. Take more, take more of it out of my pocket instead of a bonus and possibilities. And I have to work that much harder in the next few days to make up for the short, for the shortage of uh, rides as far as my normal daily count for the big bonus at the end of the month, the five thousand dollars. Because now we're in May, so uh, today is May. Um, I forgot what. 13 maybe, something like that. So I have just like a little over two weeks to uh, make it happen. But I'm over 700. I passed 700 yesterday, I believe, or the day before maybe. I'm so tired from all this driving. I don't even know what day it is. I don't know the date anymore. I'm just, you know, half lucky I even realize is it daytime or nighttime? Beyond that, I don't know. 
That's the only thing I'm really sure about is it daytime or nighttime. I don't know how much to be on that. Ugh. Fuck. destination filter on but since I'm on the freeway you don't usually get hits and I'm so far away that if I started getting hits it would just take forever I'd probably get home at 3 in the morning anyway but I'm just exhausted I don't want to I don't want to do any more driving but I have to I have to get home I have to drive myself home at least but I uh, really really don't want to drive anymore right now and my, my friend was calling me saying, you know, he, he couldn't believe that I had this one long ride. I was waiting and waiting and waiting. That's another thing. When I was in Hollywood around 9, 10 o'clock, uh, I basically sat there for almost 45 minutes, driving around, sitting, going to, you know, locations I think are popular. And whether by chance, bad luck, or the app is failing on me, I don't know. But I didn't get any hits at all. I finally got this ride at like 11.01, which was like right after the peak ride is over, so it doesn't count toward my bonus. Um, it's just another ride. And then it's this long ass fucking ride. It takes 45 minutes down, and now it's another 45 minutes back. So that's an hour and a half for one lousy ride, $35. So all the time before that, I'm wondering where, what's going on? How come I'm not getting any hits? So I turn off the phone, I turn off all the programs, I restart the phone. Uh, you know, I do all that kind of nonsense and still nothing really happened. It did disconnect the phone from the car. I could tell that, you know, suddenly the incoming calls were going, or incoming calls were not syncing with the car itself. I had to re-establish that connection. But then I finally got the hit, and then it's this long, stupid ride that goes out in the middle of nowhere and just wastes my last little bit of energy and time. But I've, I've gotten another ride like that recently as well. And uh, that was to fucking Moore Park from West LA. That was another, uh, that was over an hour. The, the thing says on the way there, getting to go there. It's going to take 69 minutes or 70 minutes or something like that. Which is obviously more than an hour. Middle of traffic. We're sitting on the freeway. Uh, and then, and as well as now, um, both times I'm thinking, I'm, I just want to tell the person, you know what, I'm not going to go. It's just too far. And now that I'm, how I feel about this today, really for sure, next time I see you know, some, you know, godforsaken, you know, fuck off location, I'm going to say, no, I'm not doing it. It's just not worth my time. It's not worth my gas. It's not worth my energy. I, I frankly, I feel like I'd be more productive if I just went home and took a nap for an hour. I think that would be a lot more productive than dragging these people around for one lousy ride count. And you don't get paid that much. You know, unless the ride was picked up in a in a surge in a colored area, okay, and then you're going to get a bonus of 25% or whatever it happens to be at the time, then it might be worth it money-wise. It's still not worth it time-wise because it's still only one lousy ride. But if at least I get out with you know $100, not $30, then that's better. That's, that then it's a little more reasonable. Of uh, uh, you know, return on the investment of time and energy. Like I did get a ride like that today, where the guy, I, I guess I picked him up and I was in a, in a surge zone, a colored area. Uh, so, sorry. And it took him down to um, fairly far, but not super far, not, not what I'm talking about tonight. It was uh, some traffic. It took like 20 minutes maybe to get there. 
uh, the other side of the airport basically but it's still within range of what I feel like is, is okay mostly because when I get to these other locations even if, even the far ones as long as it's still in a place where I could get other rides then I don't feel like it's a complete waste of time but in this case the guy wanted me to wait while he did something bought something at a store I think and then came back he wanted me to take take him all the way back to where we started originally which happened to be near my house so I thought well you know I was kind of semi thinking about this will be my last ride and then he took me way far away and I thought okay well I guess I'll get some rides on the way back but then he's saying he wants me to take him back and then we'll end up back near my house again so we, I said okay. So we did that, and when, by the time I get back and say goodbye and sign off, it turns out that ride was ninety-nine dollars. So all right, and it took me forty minutes, fifty minutes, but it was ninety-nine dollars, and uh, and it ended up being you know close to my house anyways on the end. So I it didn't have that much to complain about. Although it was just a ride count of one didn't really add too much to my numbers but at least I, I got compensated in dollars this other ride I just did tonight that I'm coming back from was a lot farther it was you know one-third the amount of pay and again it's just one lousy ride it wasn't any extra bonus there there's nothing about it that was special or good per se not to mention it's a lot of wear and tear, actually way more gas, you know, used up. So this is actually costing me more and paying less. So I'm not going to do these long rides until I get the bonus because it's just not worth the time. It's just it's very, very de depressing and discouraging, these long, stupid rides. I wish Lyft had some kind of filter, or an Uber too, I guess. I wish Lyft and Uber both had some kind of filter that you could say, I'm not riding beyond, you know, a certain range. Uh, just so you can eliminate the rides that are ridiculous. Even though they pay a lot. So, you know, for the people who do want that, because they know they pay, they can pay well, then you turn it off. You know, those people who want it can leave the filter off. Or if you're in the mood, you want, you're not minding to do long rides because you want to generate some extra cash uh, for whatever reasons, uh, fine. You know, turn the filter off. But it should be allowed there that you can stay within a certain range, a certain area. my own shadow. I was like, who's that? <laughs> right next to me. <laughs> That's hilarious. 